Over 300 million years ago, predating the era of colossal dinosaurs, Earth was teeming with oversized insects. Picture a world where dragonflies matched the dimensions of crows, and millipedes stretched as long as cars. Welcome to the Carboniferous Period. Why did insects attain such staggering sizes during this epoch? What role did oxygen play in this phenomenon, and what compelled these insects? Subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment letting us know which part of the United States or the world you're tuning in from. Share with us. Here's a glimpse into the era of colossal insects. The Carboniferous period marked a pivotal juncture in Earth's history. The planet's land masses were coalescing into the supercontinent of Pangaea, and vast swamps and warm, humid forests dominated the landscape. Giant insects weren't the sole behemoths traversing the planet, there existed a diverse array of marine life, including early sharks and a colossal amphibian stretching up to six feet in length. But enough preamble, let's journey back 300 million years and immerse ourselves in the Carboniferous Age. Upon arriving, the first thing you'd likely notice is the presence of insect-like creatures of extraordinary size. One of the most iconic among them was the Mega Neura, resembling a contemporary dragonfly but with a twist, a wingspan reaching up to 75 centimeters. Even more daunting was its carnivorous nature, as it hunted down other insects and small amphibians. Hopefully, it wouldn't set its sights on you. In the realm of land, the Arthropleura, a millipede-like creature, could grow up to two and a half meters. Fortunately, it was more interested in decomposing vegetation than in pursuing you. Among the eerie-looking insects was the Pulmonoscorpius, a giant scorpion that predominantly roamed swampy areas. These creatures could grow up to 70 centimeters. Additionally, there were colossal cockroaches with 10 centimeter lengths and mayflies boasting impressive 45 centimeter wingspans. It's safe to say that wandering around in this period would require constant vigilance. But the question remains, why did these insects attain such massive proportions? As you navigate the Carboniferous Age, you might notice feeling more energetic and alert. This heightened state can be attributed to the elevated oxygen levels in your surroundings. Research estimates suggest atmospheric oxygen levels were as high as 35% during this period, compared to the 21% we breathe today. This surge in oxygen was a key factor in the gigantism observed in insects. Insects breathe differently from other creatures, relying on a network of tiny tubes called trachea to deliver oxygen directly to their tissues. The higher the oxygen levels, the larger these insects grew. However, there's another theory suggesting that these insects grew to colossal sizes as a response to oxygen toxicity. As incredible as oxygen is, an excess of it can lead to the formation of unstable molecules known as free radicals, causing damage to cells and DNA. In the case of insects, growing larger helped mitigate the risk of oxygen toxicity, slowing down the rate of oxygen absorption. While insects undeniably took the spotlight during this age, they weren't the sole entities undergoing significant transformations. The Carboniferous period earned its moniker, the Coal Age, due to extensive coal beds forming from the decay of ancient forests. These coal beds, still utilized for energy today, are integral to our fossil fuel resources. Moreover, many of the fruits and vegetables we find in grocery stores today can trace their lineage back to plants from over 300 million years ago. This period witnessed the evolution of the first seed-bearing plants, fostering more diverse ecosystems than ever before. And look over there, is that a dinosaur? Well, not quite. It's one of the earliest reptiles, heralding the impending Mesozoic era, known as the Age of Dinosaurs. 
As we journey through this fascinating period, the Earth's atmosphere undergoes changes as well. Initially, a warm and humid climate prevails, supporting the swampy forests we've been exploring. Over millions of years, however, the climate transitions to an ice house earth state, with lower temperatures and the formation of ice sheets, particularly in the southern hemisphere. This shift is attributed to the gradual formation of the supercontinent Pangaea, which influences ocean currents, wind patterns, and global climate. As Pangaea takes shape, rainforests collapse, leading to a decline in flourishing fauna and vegetation. With diminishing rainforests, oxygen levels decrease, posing a threat to the survival of massive insects. The landscape becomes more challenging for these insects as early reptiles start to dominate. Now, with Pangaea fully formed, we enter the Permian period, marking yet another chapter in Earth's history. What unfolds during this period? Well, that's a story for another video. Subscribe.